In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do SEO on a website built using WordPress and the page builder Seedprod. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the All-in-One SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're gonna to wanna to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're gonna to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're gonna go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. And then click the install now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says activate plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO setup wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're gonna head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the downloads tab. And then next to where it says license key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're gonna paste the license key into the license key field, click connect, and that's it. All-in-one SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you wanna be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue save changes button. And then we're gonna scroll up and click on the dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So now that you've got AIO SEO installed, let's head on over to the seed prod section and then scroll down to our landing pages and I'm gonna open up this demo page I have called basketball shoes dash seed prod. So we're in the seed prod page builder now. I have this very simple page made about men's green and black basketball shoes. And if we wanna get into the all-in-one SEO settings section, from SeedProd, you're not gonna find it below the page like you would in the regular WordPress blocks editor. Instead, we're gonna find it up top under this tab that says page settings. And then if we click on the left-hand side menu, the tab that says SEO. So on the general tab here, the first thing you would see is a preview of how our listing will appear in the search engines. Below that is the page title section for how you construct the title of your page. I'm using the page title, a separator, and the title of my site. Below that, we have meta description. I'm using the page content. Below that, we have a focus key phrase. I don't have one for this page, so I'm gonna type in men's basketball shoes. And when I click add key phrase, it's telling me that men's basketball shoes is scoring a 61 out of 100. Most of that probably has to do with the fact that the focus key phrase is not in the SEO title. So I'm gonna scroll back up and I'm gonna change my page title to be, I'm gonna delete what's in here and change it to be men's basketball shoes and then a separator and the site title. So if I do that and scroll back on down the page, we can see that this is now bumped up from a 61 to a 76. There's some other things I could do here to increase the score for the focus key phrase. I'm not gonna do all of them today. Uh, I'm not gonna add any additional key phrases at this time. And then in the page analysis section, like in these other sections above it, everything is clearly marked with a green check mark or a red X. Green check mark means you're doing pretty well. Red X means there's things you need to focus on. So there's a whole lot I could do to get the SEO up to speed on this page and therefore increase its chance of ranking higher in the search engine results. If I scroll back up the page to the top, there's also a tab called social. So if I click on that, I can determine how I wanna construct my Facebook title. So when my content is shared on Facebook, in this case, I'm gonna use the page title, separator and the site title, and I'm gonna put in 
a space and a nice little emoji here that says checkmark just to bring a little more attention to my content when it's shared on Facebook. For Facebook description, I'm going to click this View All Tags button here. I am going to use... I'm going to use the tagline from my site. So let's say this page was a landing page for my site, so I wanted the tagline for my site as the description. For the image, I'm going to go ahead and use an attached image, which is going to be the first image that shows up in the page. Video URL does not apply for this. For the object type, I'm going to use the default object type set in social networks when I set up all-in-one SEO. Article section doesn't really apply for this. And article tags, I'm going to put in men's shoes. If we scroll back up to the top of the page, there's a section for schema. We have several videos on our YouTube channel about how to generate schema code automatically using all-in-one SEO. But very briefly, if we click this blue Generate Schema button, you can choose what kind of schema you want to use for your page. For example, if this was a FAQ page, you could choose FAQ schema, and then you could fill in questions and answers, and our plugin will automatically generate valid schema code so that you have a chance of scoring a rich snippet in Google search results. And we have all different kinds of schema. If I go back to the schema catalog, we have how-to, music, recipe, product. And you can even create your own custom schema and then validate that schema. I'm going to close out of this window. The next tab is redirects. So if I need to put in a redirect, if I move this page, I can do it right here from this SEO section of the page settings in Seedprod using all-in-one SEO's redirect. And then if I click on the advanced tab, I have a bunch of advanced settings. These are set to use default settings by default. And for the vast majority of our users, those settings work best. So this is how you get into all of the on-page settings in all-in-one SEO when you're using the Page Builder Seed Prod. So that's how to do SEO on a site built using Seed Prod. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to build internal links fast using Link Assistant. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, all-in-one SEO.